often wonder what God will is. The Bible is God's word and gives us God's will. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 through 18 tells us three areas where we can know God's will. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ for you. So God will for all his people in every circumstance is to rejoice, to pray, and to give thanks. Even we may go through situations, even if we walk outside and we notice that our car tire is flat, still rejoice, pray without ceasing, and give God thanks. Even if you might get sick in your body, rejoice, pray without ceasing, and give God praise. Once we follow God's commandments, God uses our situations to show us his power and his glory. God just want to get a chance to use us to show us his glory and his power and his splendor. God is bigger than our situation. God is bigger than our circumstance. God is the king of king. He is the king of glory. He is the alpha and omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is that lily in the valley. He is that bomb in Gilead. He is a doctor. He is a lawyer in the courtroom. He is everything that you need. He is bigger than this universe. Whatever circumstance you are going through, it is not bigger than God. God is bigger than any circumstance or situation. Therefore, today, we are going to pray that God give us a mindset to follow his commandments, no matter what we're going through or what circumstance we face, that we rejoice and say, hallelujah, Lord, I'm going to thank you anyhow, and begin to pray on the circumstance and then rejoice and know that it's done, that God has given us the victory because his son died on the cross, that we may have victory and we may have life and have it more abundantly. Please close your eyes as we lift our hearts to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. We thank you for waking us up this morning. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, but Lord, by your grace and mercy, you seem fit for us to have another day, another day to get it right, another day to say, Lord, I thank you, another day to give your name the glory that is due unto you. Lord, we thank you for keeping our family members safe. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. Lord, we thank you for healing our bodies when we were sick. Lord, we thank you and we glorify your holy name. We thank you for opening up windows of heaven and pouring out blessings. We thank you for being a great God. We thank you for being a just God. We thank you for being an understanding God. We thank you for being the king of kings. We thank you, God, and we glorify your holy name. We pray for a growth mindset in the name of Jesus, a growth mindset in you. No matter what circumstance we may face on today, tomorrow, next week, next month, that we will rejoice and we will pray without ceasing and we will give you praise. Lord, anoint us with your Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Let us feel your presence in the name of Jesus. Surround us with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, and we glorify your holy name. We thank you, God, in advance for your mindset in the name of Jesus. We know going forth in the name of Jesus, that we're going to continue to love you. We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to lift you up. We're going to continue to keep praying in the name of Jesus. And we're going to give you thanks for all that you've done, for who you are in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. And as we come and end this prayer and come to a close, we just want to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory because you for just being God alone. We just want to thank you, God. 
how we couldn't see a way and you made a way. We want to thank you, God, how you opened up the windows of heaven and poured out blessings. We want to thank you, God, when the devil said no, you said yes. We want to thank you, God. When doors closed in our face, you opened up the doors and showed your mighty power. We want to thank you, God, when it didn't look good, but Lord, you turned that into a testimony and had us to help someone else to help their situations or what they may be facing or going through and show your glory and your divine power. We thank you, God, and we glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.